Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, dear little students. How are all of you? I'm your teacher, Ms. Tanzila, and now we are in mathematics class. And today we are going to discuss the concept of small and big and short and tall. And other than that, we will also revise our counting in words from one to 10. So get ready to start our today lecture. Now this is your GABA Mathematic book page number 73, okay? What they say in this page, we have already done this page once again. We are doing it to revise it in order to clear your concepts about the short and the tall. So first of all, open your Mathematic GABA book page number 73. Now, what they say in this page, they say draw a short candle, here a short candle, a tall tree, here a tall tree, a long pencil, here you will draw a long pencil, and a short arrow, here you will draw a short arrow. Understood? Means what you will do in the first exercise they are asking about the candle the one candle is mentioned and the another you will draw you will draw a candle that will be shorter than this one when we are talking about tall and short we are actually talking about the height of the object okay dear little learner you will draw a short candle that will be shorter in length than this one, than the mansion candle. So how you will draw? You will draw like this. Now look here. This candle is shorter than this one. Now we done our first exercise. Now come to the next one. What they say in the next one? A tall tree, draw a tall tree. You will draw same tree, but draw the tree that is taller than this one, than mentioned one. I'm repeating again, when we are talking about tall and short, then we are comparing the height of the object. What we are comparing? We're comparing the height of the object. So what you will do? You will draw, you will draw a tall tree. Now compare this one and this one. This tree is taller than this one. And in this case, this candle is shorter than this one. Understood? How you will differentiate the short and tall and how you will draw the short and tall objects. Now in the third exercise, they are ask, asking about a long pencil. The one pencil is mentioned here, look here. And they say, draw the same pencil, but longer than this one, than the mentioned one, understood? So draw the long pencil. Now look at this pencil. This pencil is longer than this one. Understood? Now in the last exercise, the one arrow is mentioned. Already we have a one arrow, but they are asking to draw a short arrow. So what you will do, you will draw a arrow that is shorter than the mentioned one. So draw the arrow, which is shorter than the mentioned one arrow. Now this arrow, look at this arrow, compare this arrow with this arrow. This one is taller than this one. 
and this arrow is shorter than the first one. So we have done our, these four exercises. In the first, they say to draw a short candle. You will draw like this, a short candle. Then in the second one, they say to draw a tall tree. Like this, you will draw the tall tree. Then in the third one, you will draw a long pencil. Then the mention one pencil. And in the last one, you will draw a small arrow, a short arrow, a short arrow than the given one. Understood? Now, again, this is your book page number 77. And in this page, what they say? They say big and small, big and small. What you will do? Big and small. When we are talking about big and small we are actually talking about the size of the object in the short and tall we are talking about the height of the object but in the big and small we are talking about the size of the object so in the first exercise they say color the small one what do you think this one is small or this one is small? This one is small, okay? So, color the small one. You will color this apple neatly. Understood? Now, in the next one, color the big aeroplane. Which one is the big? Can you differentiate between the big and small? Which one is the big and which one is the small? This aeroplane is smaller than this one. So this one is big. You will color this aeroplane neatly in your no, in your Gava Mathematic book. Understood? Now in the third question, they are asking about color the small fish. Which one is the small fish? You can differentiate it. I know you can do it. Which one is the small? This one is bigger than the second one. So the second one is smaller than the first one. In this case, we have a small fish. This one, we have a small fish. You will color this fish because they are asking to color the small one. So color this one, this one is the small. Now, in the last question, in the last exercise, they are asking to color the big cake. The two cake, one is big and one is small. The first one is small and the second one is big. So you will color this one. This cake is bigger than the first one. Color the second cake, okay? This one, because it is the big cake is this one and they are asking to color the big cake. Now, this is the page number 78 in your Gaba Mathematic book. Let's uh, read what they say in this book. They say in this page, they say draw big or small. Again, we are doing another exercise on big and small. Okay a big cup this is a big cup a big cup is already mentioned and what they say they say draw a small cup you will draw here a cup that will be small than this one okay so draw a small cup look here this cup is now smaller than this one okay now in the second one a small book a small book but here you will draw a big book what you will do here you will draw a big book a book that is bigger than the first one than this one draw a big book now and compare this book and this book this book is bigger than this one so we have done our this exercise draw a big book now, a big orange, this orange is big, 
what you will do? You will draw an orange that is smaller than dimension one, just like this. Oh, look here. This is a small orange. And this one is the big orange. Understood? Now, in the last, what we have? We have a small apple and you have to draw a big apple. The mention apple is a small apple and you have to draw the big apple just like this, okay? Draw a big apple. So you have done it. It's too easy and also interesting. Now let's check out what we have next. Now we are going to revise counting in words. We have already learned this, but it is very, very, very important. So we are revising it again. What is the spelling of one? O and E. The spelling of one is O and E. And I think there will be no issue on the recognition of the alphabets because you have learned the lower case and the upper case of alphabet so many times. Now the next one is two, T W O. The spelling of two is T W O. Now the spelling of three, T H R double E. T H R double E. Our next number is four. And the spelling of four is F O U R four. F O U R four. Five. The next one is five. F I V E five. F I V E five. And the next number after five is six. S I X six. S I X six. Now, after six, the next number is seven. What is the spelling of seven? S E V E N. Seven. S E V E E and seven. It's a little bit difficult, but you can do it. Now, after seven, our next number is eight. E I G H T. Eight. E I G H T. Eight. Now, after eight, our next number is nine. What is our next number? Our next number is nine. N I N E nine. N I N E nine. And our last number of today lecture is ten. T E N. It's easy, okay? T E N ten. Now it's time to talk about the homework. What you will do, you will write counting in words from one to 10 in your notebook, but you will write it two times, okay? And then you'll check it from your teacher. So bye for now, inshallah, see you soon.